Hey, what's up guys, I'm Leonard and I'm going to give you 10 DJing tips I personally use in 70 seconds. Yeah, I know, but when it malfunctions or you have to take your eyes off it, you know what's up. This serves as a huge energy boost or breakdown, which brings an additional dynamic to your DJ set. Especially if you are taking over a hip-hop DJ, make sure the crossfader setting is according to your preference, or risk dead silence. Speaking of crossfaders, here's a bonus tip on how to remove your crossfader when you need to change your mixer's faceplate. And I can assure you that the fork has nothing to do with its damage. It is more efficient about download and higher chance of finding a good song compared to daily downloads, yet more up-to-date compared to monthly. And since we are on this topic, here are some of my recommendations. When you start to get lost when DJing on the fly, this can help you while offering flexibility unlike following a single set list. I usually DJ on the fly and this allows me to quickly find songs I can use to mix in key. First sort by BPM, then hold command and click key. This allows you to quickly level most of your tracks to the same standard volume. When DJing in a club, it's common courtesy to ask the sound man how loud you can go. You don't want to blow their speakers. If you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you find it useful, please share this with your DJ friends. More videos coming up. Stay tuned.